Yeah, she's right here. You want to talk to her? All right, well, then I'll hand her the phone. Uh, you too. No, <laughs> you're too much. You're a killer. All right, here she is. No, 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 no. Who is it? It's your Aunt Linda. Be polite and say hello. Well, why does she want to talk to me? You speak on the phone to your friends all day, and the one time I asked you to speak to your aunt on the phone, you give me crap for it? Speak to her. <sighs> Fine. Hi, Aunt Linda. No, this is Sam. No, 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 Sam, the youngest. Hi. Yep, I'm doing all right. No, still not dating anybody. No, not all A's either. <laughs> Almost. You want to talk to her again? Okay, bye. That was the best you could do. She asked to talk to you again. I don't know. Linda, I'm so sorry for my daughter's- Hey, so who's your best friend? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's okay if it's not me. I just want to know who your best friend is. Like, who are your top three best friends? Um... Seriously, it's okay if it's not me. I just want to know. Okay, probably Haley, Brianna, and Caitlin. I'm telling. Why did my mom just add me on Instagram? Have you added me on Instagram yet? No. My only friends right now are dad and grandma Babs. You have to add me. No. Why not? What kind of pictures are you uploading to that private account of yours? Private ones? If you think this secret social media life is gonna continue under my roof, think again. You can either add me or delete the account altogether. I don't care. Ugh, fine. You take way too many pictures of yourself. Thanks. And who are all these boys? My friends. Why are you all sticking your tongues out so much? Because we're having fun. Is this a bathing suit or a thong? You're blocked. Hey, I was wondering if I could talk to you about something. <sighs> sure, what's up? Um, I don't know. I've just been having a lot of problems online. Like, I don't know, people making fun of me and kind of bullying me on social media. You kids in your social media. <sighs> yeah. Um, it's just something that's kind of started to carry over into school and it's really starting to affect- Can't you just delete the comments though? Well, of course I can delete them, but it's a little bit more than just- Or just delete your account. Well, then I can't be on social media because other people are bullying me? That doesn't seem fair. Well, think about all the stress it's causing you when you can literally just delete it. Okay, but I'm telling you that I'm being bullied. That's more of what this is about. Right, but outside of our school. Yes, but by students that attend your school. Yeah, well, there's nothing I can really do about it then. How much do you get paid for this? Hey, are you sure your mom's okay with me coming over? Yeah, of course. My mom doesn't care. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, you want a snack or anything? Uh, yeah, sure. Cool, and my parents let me do anything I want, so we can do anything here. Cool. Should I take my shoes off or anything? No, it's fine. My parents seriously don't care. Wow, your parents are really nice. Yeah, like, I can pretty much do anything I want. My parents don't care. Like, do you want a beer? No, it's okay. I'll just stick with Fritos. Okay, because if you did, my parents are fine with it. They're totally cool. Awesome. Um, what's going on here? Oh, hey, Mom. I didn't think you'd be home so early. Who is she? Oh, hi. My name is... I'm talking to my daughter. Who is this strange girl on my couch? Mom, she's just my friend. Since when are you allowed to have friends over without asking? And why is there food on the couch? Sam, are you ready for school? Yeah, I'm ready. I just need to grab my backpack. Whoa, look at that outfit. Yeah, what about it? I just, I, I don't get it. What do you mean you don't get it? Well, I just don't get what you need to do all of this. I don't know, it just makes me happy and I feel comfortable and I like it. Uh-huh, but who are you trying to get all this attention from? Nobody. Nobody dresses like that and they're not asking for attention. Do I need to give you more attention around the house? What? Are you trying to get a boyfriend with that outfit? Ew, no, I don't even like boys. Well, you have a lot of makeup on for not wanting attention. It makes me happy. But you're so beautiful, you don't need to do all this. I'm happy. Hey mom, I'll probably be home in about 15 minutes. I'm leaving now. Okay, sounds good, drive safe. Okay, I will, see you soon. Ugh, why is this road closed? Now I have to go the long way home. Hello? Why did you just turn down Spruce Street? Are you, are you following me? No. Well, the road I take normally is closed, so I had to go down Spruce Street. Hmm, are you sure you're not taking an alternative route so you can meet up with your friends? No, I literally just had to take a different way. Why did you just turn there? It would have been so much faster just to go straight. Okay, how can you see what I'm doing right now? Well, if you must know, my phone. Okay, so you're tracking me? No. 
I'm not tracking you. I'm tracking my car. <sighs> Why are you driving towards that lake? Oh, look, it's Diana. Hey, Diana. Oh my God, stop. What are you doing? We're not friends with her. What are you talking about? I'm friends with her. We have class together. She's fine. Did you not hear me? We are not friends with her anymore. What does that mean? Why? Why? Because she slept with Ashley's sister's boyfriend. I don't know who either of those people are. Of course you do. That's Jacob's brother's best friend's sister's boyfriend that we're talking about. Yeah, I don't know who any of those goons are and I could give a shit about what they think. She's my friend, I'm gonna say hello. Well, if you do that, we're no longer friends. I'm okay with that. No, please be my friend, I'll buy you Chick-fil-A. That's ridiculous. Can I get a milkshake too? I hate these scissors. Can I use yours? No, I'm using them right now. Um, if you don't let me use your scissors, you can't come to my birthday party. What? Yeah, it's gonna be a pool party and I'm gonna invite everyone here but you, cause you're not my friend. But I need to use them. And my mom said that she doesn't even like you or your mom and she doesn't want you at my house. Yeah, but if you let me use your scissors, I'll be your best friend forever. <laughs> So I'll just go ahead and take them. Well, when's your birthday? Oh, my birthday party was last week, so you can come to the one next year. Give me my fucking scissors back. You can sit right here while we contact your mother. Okay, let me know if you need her number or anything. I don't need your smart remarks, now hush. Hi, this is Mrs. Gilbert from Samantha's school. Okay, what are you calling me about now? Well, I wanted to discuss a situation with you that just occurred with your daughter disrespecting my authority. Who even are you? I am the substitute. The class was being so disrespectful, so I told them if they want to go home, they owe me 40 push-ups. And your daughter told me she wouldn't do it. Oh, wow. Good for her. You don't have the authority to punish a class by exercise. Well, it doesn't really matter what the instruction was. It's the fact that she's disrespecting my authority as an adult at her school. Well, I don't even know who you are. I don't respect you. My daughter doesn't have to do something you tell her just because you're an adult. Well, I can see where your daughter gets her resistant attitude from. Ha! you damn right. Now don't call this number ever again. Hey mom, can you help me real quick? Sure, what do you need? Can you tell me how to spell the word arrhythmia? Oh, we have a dictionary. You can just go look it up. It's okay, you can just tell me. You're right here. If you want to learn, you can go get a dictionary and look it up yourself. Okay, but if I don't know how to spell it, how am I supposed to look it up in a book that's categorizing its contents alphabetically? You're a smart girl, you can figure it out. So remember last week when we went to that parent-teacher conference and you told my teacher you were gonna help me with my homework no matter what? Mm-hmm. Well, this is your moment, so help me. Well, I'm helping by encouraging you to use your independence and looking it up yourself. You know, I'm starting to think that you just don't know how to spell it. You want me to help you? Fine, I'll help you. Thank you, whenever you're ready. Oh, here it is, dictionary. Hey, you're being awfully quiet back there. Oh, sorry, I've just been- Whoa, did you see that bird take off? <gasps> what a beautiful Florida crane. No, where was it? When was the last time you called Richard? I feel like we haven't seen him in a while. I don't know, I don't need to talk to Richard. The last time I saw him, I think that he was getting- Oh my God, and your sister called me crying again today. Wait, what was she crying about? Is everything okay? <laughs> Should we stop at McDonald's? Actually, can we get some? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. I was just gonna ask if we could get Subway instead of- Just call your father and see what he wants for dinner. I'll go pick it up. Okay, but why did you just even bother asking me what I wanted? Mom. Did you say something? Oh my God. So do you know why I called you to my office today? Um, well, your teachers tell me you've been a little unmotivated and a bit Lately, so I just wanted to, you know, check in with you, see how you're doing. I don't know, I'm just sad all the time. I can't help it. Oh, you're sad all the time? What are you so sad about? I don't know, it's nothing in particular. I just wake up sometimes and I'm sad about it. Yeah, we all have sad days, don't we? But we have to keep in mind that there's people out there that have it much worse than we do. Is that your advice? No, of course not. When I have sad days, I just pull out my list of happy things and then I read them. Happy things? Yeah, check it out. Here's my list of everything that makes me happy. Bubble baths with a rubber ducky, leaves, butterfly. I don't think this is gonna help me. No, no, this cured my depression when my ex-husband left me. Oh, Sam, I think your prom date's here. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Oh, 
Hi, you must be her little date. Yes, ma'am. Here to pick her up. Yeah, come on in. I think she just had to tweeze those little hairs around her eyebrows. <laughs> okay. Mom, please don't drive him away before our date even starts. Are you ready to go? Wait, we have to do pictures before you leave. Okay, Mom, you can take five pictures. Last time it turned into this hour-long ordeal. Oh, stop it. I'm the mother and I want to take pictures. Now, go ahead. Get close. Okay. Cute! Okay, now do the Charlie's Angels pose. Great. Okay, now let's go outside. Mom, come on. Stop complaining. Now get on his back. Okay, now lift her up like Simba. You guys, I have had enough of your lazy and condescending attitude. I don't think it's right that I'm the only one that actually cares about your future. I do care about my future. That's why I'm trying to take care of my mental health now so I don't have a breakdown when I'm 30. If you want to be successful in life, you can't just depend on me and your father to drag you along through your mopey spouts, okay? You need to get up on your ass. Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It does help support us, and let's know what videos you guys want to see.